Hello everyone. So uh, we are back again to demonstrate some of the common signs of uh, liver failure. It, uh, whenever I ask students about the general findings of liver failure, they usually struggle or forget. So today I guess I would be able to make the job simplified for you all because we will be seeing one by one from head to toe what are the things that you should see when a patient of liver failure comes to you. Uh, we all know that whenever we talk about liver failure, we, uh, the, the most common thing that blinks up in our mind is alcohol because alcoholic liver disease is one of the most common cause of acute liver failure and you get all the classical signs in such patients. Similarly, if a patient has a history of blood transfusion or un uh, uh, unprotected sex or uh, some surgery, uh, some tattooing and all, uh, they, they may get some viral infections like hepatitis B and hepatitis C that will lead to cirrhosis of liver which will subsequently lead to liver failure. So these are uh, some, some storage disorders, some uh, other diseases uh, like uh, uh, hemochromatosis, Wilson's disease can also lead to liver failure in the long run. But when we talk about acute liver failure in our country, alcohol liver disease should always be your first uh, cause. So <clears throat> here we have a, a patient who uh, actually is a case of alcoholic liver disease who has all the signs of liver failure along with portal hypertension. So not wasting time we directly jump to the general examination findings that usually we get in patients of liver failure. So uh, if you really want to make it simplified always uh, make it a habit that you comment from head to toe because in that scenario you do not miss any of the clinical findings of liver failure. So discussing it in this patient, if we proceed from head to toe, this patient has sparse hair. See, it is again one of the common uh, findings, general examin exa examination findings of liver failure where there is sparse hair. You can clearly see sparse hair. If you see the skin of the patient, it is very thin, thin and fragile. If you can just pay attention whenever I am pinching it, it looks very fragile and thin. It is called as paper money skin. Looking at the eyes of the patient, see, niche dekho, meri ungli pe dekho, meri ungli pe. See, there is icterus, which is very clear. There is icterus. The patient has pallor. Although the patient has pallor, but he has palmar erythema, which we will see subsequently, which is again a fi finding of liver uh, failure. Mudi kao, jib nikalo. The tongue is very important because most of the, in most of the cases, the patient has vitamin uh, B complex deficiencies with chilosis, with beefy tongue, magenta tongue, uh, bile tongue, which all signify that there is a vitamin B complex deficiency, which is very common in such patients. Coming down, we can have parotid swelling, which this patient actually has. If you can pay attention, slight tangentially, you can see that there is a prominence of the parotid region, which is nothing but parotitis in this patient, parotid enlargement in this patient, which is very common with liver disease patients. The patient commonly has spider nevi on the chest or the back. When it is more than four to six, it is considered as significant. If you can see tangentially, he has started developing some sort of gynecomastia, which is again a sign of liver failure. The patient has sparse axillary hair. The axillary hair is lost. There is no axillary hair. There is muscle wasting, which is again one of the findings. If you can see, the patient has easy bruisability. This occurs because in liver disease, your, co your clotting factors and coagulation cascade is hampered. So even with a small uh, trial of uh, vein flow insertion, the patient has developed so much of subcutaneous uh, hemorrhage. This is again signifies that the patient may have hyperprothrombinemia and, and increased INR ratio. Very importantly, the, uh, yeah, I forgot the hand. The hand is very important. Such patients usually has palmar erythema, but he, since he has anemia, he has some sort of pallor, but then too, the tips of his finger and the base are very red because it is because of the hormonal abnormalities that the patient develop palmar erythema. If we uh, ask the patient to extend the elbow, to extend the wrist and keep the fingers open, the patient will start developing these uh, tremors which are coarse and which is also called as liver flaps or asterixis. Why this is important? Because they indicate that the patient is going into hepatic encephalopathy. We will try in this patient. You have to keep your hands straight, keep your hands open and open your hands. Do that See, we will try in this patient. So this is the way you check for liver flaps, asterixis. This is negative in this patient because he is still not into hepatic encephalopathy. Coming down, 
we have this fullness of the abdomen which is nothing but ascites again a very important sign of liver failure because there is portal hypertension accumulation of fluid which makes this umbilicus smiling usually the umbilicus is uh, inverted but as the abdomen stretches the umbilicus becomes smiling umbilicus you have dilated veins on the abdomen which is because of portal hypertension always remember dilated veins on the flanks are always because of inferior vena cava obstruction i have released a video in the channel where i have taught how to decide whether there is obstruction of the svc or there is obstruction of the ivc that is a separate video we will not go into the detail similarly once we are done with ascites if we come down the patient will have testicular atrophy again because of the hormonal changes the patient may have scratch marks because of all the uh, enzymes and bilirubin that are raised the patient may have stretch marks or scratch marks because of continuous itching the patient has this brittle skin which is paper money skin there is commonly pedal edema in these patients ideally we should see with three fingers it should be valleys between the hills like this you can clearly see if you can show it tangentially see there is clear cut edema with valleys and the hills it should be like this many times the patient may have tattoo marks on the lower limbs or the abdomen or or hand which will indicate that the patient may have got some sort of viral infections like hepatitis b hepatitis c that has led to cirrhosis and that has led to all the features of liver failure so if you talk to the patient in such patients if you talk they may give that uh, acetone like breath which is called as uh, fetal hepaticus so that is also one of the general examination findings if you talk to the patient you will come to know about the consciousness of the patient because in liver disease patient the patient may have psychosis because of alcoholic withdrawal because of the mercaptans going to the uh, brain crossing the blood brain barrier so all these things the patient may have clubbing clubbing in very advanced stages but not very commonly the patient will have pallor the patient may have brittle nails with whitish nail because of hypoproteinemia so these all are the very common uh, uh, findings of uh, hepatic failure these are the general examination findings that you should not uh, uh, miss when you go one by one from toe to the from uh, head to the toe one by one so this was in short what you get in patients of uh, liver failure so i guess this would make things much easier now thank you